couple of weeks. Uh, she may have to try and find her a different doctor. Anyway, we're here to worship the Lord this morning. And I'm glad that you're all here and you're all feeling better. And uh, th this sun helps when it comes out like it is this morning. And our living room is kind of dark and I raised the shade and boy, that sun popped through there. And I thought, whoa. Connie made me think of the light in the Sunday school lesson. Yeah. Uh, that sun is bright. By the way, can you all can you all see this up here? It's moved over there a little bit. But I was sitting back there and I was trying to read the fine print on that that was on the wall. Did anybody else see that? It's not there now, is it? That's because the sun's moved. Yeah, it's not there. All right, I just thought maybe I, my eyes were getting bad. <laughs> Actually, it was the sun shining through these blinds, and it just looked like a, a board up. Well, in fact, you can see it over there oh, yeah. on the side. And I thought, well, that's awful fine print. I can't read that from back there. <laughs> and then I realized what it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funny for today. We're going to open our service in prayer, and I have a prayer request. It concerns the homecoming service, the first homecoming service in 35 years for this church, and it's going to be on April the 29th. Here we'll have uh, hopefully a guest speaker in the morning, and uh, they'll carry in lunch, and hope we will have a lot of people come back to see the heritage board that's down in the basement, and fellowship after the morning service. So we're planning on having a great turnout. <coughs> And we hope that you'll remember this and, and be part of it, and so that you will come. Also, on April the 10th, at 2 in the afternoon, our missionary is going to be here to have a time of prayer with us. He's going to all the churches for a time of prayer. And uh, that will last probably maybe an hour. And... Uh, uh, He's going to do that again here in this church on the 20, on the 10th of April. Um, so you may want, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so you may want to put those announcements on and, and remember them. And if you're available and around at that time, uh, you might want to join us for that time of prayer. And we'll be hearing more about that as we go along. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come with thankful hearts that once again you've made it possible for us to come together here in this place that we might worship you. Lord, we just pray that you'll touch our hearts this morning and our lives in such a way that we can speak out with courage and boldly present ourselves as Christians in this time in which we live. Others need to see Jesus in us day in and day out. And not just on Sunday or Wednesday. Not just when we feel the moment strikes us as right, but that we might go boldly forth throughout every day of our lives, always proclaiming Christ as our Lord. Now, Heavenly Father, we ask your blessings upon each one that's here. We ask your blessings upon this service. We pray for each need that's 
maybe unspoken this morning request. And we pray for every prayer request that's in this box. And we thank you for the answers to prayers that we have witnessed. But Lord, we know that there are many other needs in this box. And we just pray that you will be with each one of those needs. And according to your plan and your purpose, you will answer those requests that your will above all might be accomplished. Lord, help us as we worship to worship from the very bottom of our hearts that we will go forth from this service today with joy and that we will be willing and able and wanting to tell others what a great day it has been to have been in the house of the Lord. Lord, we pray for our homecoming service that's coming up. Pray that you'll bring people out to witness the heritage boards downstairs and to fellowship with us. Those that have been members in the past that uh, will be coming back, Lord, we pray that you'll be with them. And that we will all have a great day of fellowship. Lord, now bless this message. Your will be done, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> once, once you miss a Sunday or two, isn't it harder to get back? This morning when I was trying to wake up and crawl out of bed, and I looked outside, that's the first thing I always do, I always look outside to see how the weather is, because in our rock house, it's pretty hard to know what's going on unless you're upstairs, uh, or you don't look, you look outside to see. And the cars were all frosted over, you know, the windshield. And I thought, oh, I thought they said it was supposed to be a pretty day today. Kind of makes you not want to get out. Take your Bibles if you have them handy and would like to follow along and turn to Matthew, the sixth chapter. I'm going to read verses 5 through 14 of the 6th chapter of Matthew. We might say, well, hey, we're repeating ourselves again as we read this scripture. But the thought this morning is going to be on prayer. Matthew, the sixth chapter, beginning with verse five. When you pray, that's the title for the message if you want to put the title to it. When you pray, oh, is that a question? There's no question mark after it in my Bible. But when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners, and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your Father in private. Then your Father who sees everything will reward you. Verse 7, when you pray, don't babble on and on as people of other religions do. 
They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them, for your Father knows exactly what you need, even before you ask Him. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. <laughs> 